Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in this quick tutorial, we're going to show you how to wire a dual voice coil 4 ohm subwoofer. Now we're going to give you two different wiring configurations, either a final impedance of 2 ohms or a final impedance of 8 ohms, whether you're wiring it in series or parallel. Let's get started. Provo Beats Audio Installation Channel is sponsored by NVX and Sonic Electronics. Get 10% off all speakers, amplifiers, wiring kits, and more with coupon code PBAI at NVX. Also get 5% off all car audio components at Sonic Electronics with coupon code PROVOBEAST. Okay, so with this NVX subwoofer, like we said, this is a dual voice coil 4 ohm sub. And what that means, if we flip it over here, is we have dual voice coils and each coil here is a 4 ohm impedance. Now you may have other variations of this sub. You, you can pick them up as dual voice coil 2 ohm subs. Most manufacturers will produce either a dual voice coil 4 ohm or dual voice coil 2 ohm. Occasionally you'll also see single voice coils when there's only just one here. Now with this sub specifically, we have a dual voice coil 4 ohm setup we can wire in two different ways as mentioned we can do a parallel configuration or a series configuration now if you happen to have a multimeter we're going to show you kind of what this all means in terms of wiring here just so it makes a little bit more sense here most multimeters will have a setting on it where you can check your impedance it's this little symbol right here and essentially you turn it to that and what this is going to read is the resistance between both terminals here so what we're going to do for example to check our terminal here we should get around four ohms or just slightly less than that All right there we go so it's about three and a half ohms and that's pretty common that it's not going to be spot on to four ohms we should see something very similar on the other end as well yep and it's about the same so with our two different wiring configurations essentially here we have a couple of lengths of wire we're using nvx um, oxygen free copper speaker cable this is 12 gauge here now this is a little bit heavier than what we need but we have this laying around here in the shop now we have two of these links the first setup we're going to show you is parallel wiring and parallel wiring is essentially positive to positive and negative to negative and what this is going to do with the resistance or the impedance of the sub is bring it down to a final impedance of two ohms so we're gonna go ahead and do just that. So we're gonna stick one side in here. Again, positive to positive, negative to negative. And what this is going to do, well, let's just test one of the sides. Now, since both sides are connected, stick that in there, gives us two ohms. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Um, a two ohms final impedance. So when we match an amplifier to this subwoofer at final impedance of two ohms, we're looking for about 300 watts or what this RMS rating is on this sub. Now this is like I said, what we call a parallel wiring. We're wiring each coil in parallel. And from here to connect to our amplifier, essentially there's, there's a couple of ways you can do that. I mean, the easiest way is to go ahead and just combine two terminals here. We have our lead that will go to our amplifier essentially when we mount this this will connect to the inside of the terminal cup in the box and then that box terminal will then go to the amplifier itself so our amp will see two ohms from the subwoofer and put out the wattage based on that resistance all right so now the other wiring configuration or a series configuration is a little bit different essentially here you'll connect one positive and negative together and then the other positive and negative that's open will go to your amplifier what this is going to do is actually raise the impedance level up to eight ohms just like so a little jumper here then on this end do one positive and one negative and now this end will go to our amplifier what this is going to do for us, we have our multimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and put our positive and negative on. We'll watch our multimeter there. Now we're hoping for about eight ohms. It's a little bit underneath that, but essentially here, what that's going to do is now set up our amplifier to put out its wattage at eight ohms. That's not very efficient. We probably don't ever want that. 
Like I said, the only reason you do this wiring configuration is if you're gonna do one of these itself and do a separate sub wired exactly the same, and then we'd combine both those leads from both subs, and that would actually bring us back to four ohms. Now, if you wanna see us do that, we'll have a separate video for that as well. Well, that's it for this quick little tutorial. We showed you how to wire either in series or in parallel and what final impedance you can get from those wiring configurations. If you have any questions about your wiring configuration or on the video itself, go ahead and throw a comment down below. Also down below in the description, we'll have a link to other videos in case you're wondering how to wire um, a different impedance or multiple subwoofers together. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next video.